Live from the Mandalay Bay Convention Center in Las Vegas. It's the Cube covering VMworld 2016. Brought to you by VMware and its ecosystem sponsors. And welcome back here on the Cube, the flagship broadcast channel for Silicon Angle TV. As we continue our coverage here at VMworld at Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas, I'm John Walls along with John Floyer. John, good to see you today, sir. Well, yeah. Nice to be here. We're with Brad Tompkins, who's the CEO of VMug, who's uh, of course a VMware user group. And uh, Brad, good to see you, sir. And Thanks thank for having me. Glad time. to be here. Big week for you, right? Big week. Uh, obviously, the show in itself uh, is a roaring success, but VMug's presence here is quite noticeable. Yeah, well, thank you very much. We obviously have a large presence here. It is one of the signature events that, that we partake in, and uh, we kicked it off with a fantastic uh, party at the House of Blues. It was a member party, and, and a lot of people had a good time. 80s theme, so that was, that was nice for everybody. Uh, but we also have some business that we do here. We've got a leader lunch tomorrow. Uh, we're really fueled by the community and the leaders and their volunteers, what really makes VMUG VMUG, and that's the magic. So we try to take care of our leaders while they're here, so we have got some special events for them as well. So, John, did you get your invitation to the party? I don't think that mine oh, came. It must have been lost in the mail. Yeah, so I got lost in the mail. <laughs> I know people, though. We I'll check on that. I could probably maybe yeah. for tonight, then, we, we could work on that. <laughs> for, for those who are watching, maybe not too familiar with VMUG and the full range of services and offerings you have, take us through a little bit about the webinars, education, training, all that you do and how big your membership is. Absolutely, be glad to. So our membership, first of all, is free, and we encourage everybody to engage and get involved in the community. The community is 120,000 members globally, and those are active members. So that means that they're participating in some way, either logging into the website or going to a user con. So it's a great community to get, get tied into. And just for clarification, uh, our members are individuals. So it's not companies, it's individuals. Uh, so what we do for that, our goal is education, and we do that many different ways. Uh, I mentioned the, the user cons earlier, so user cons are our full day events. Uh, we'll have keynote speakers, breakout sessions, uh, trade show floor, those kind of things. We also have virtual events. Uh, we do about 40 of the user cons, so that doesn't, and that's across the globe, but there's some people that can't make it for whatever reason. So the virtual event is the same thing, it's just done virtually. And uh, it is an eight-hour show, and we do have people that stay logged on the entire eight hours. Uh, our average is about three hours for that, which is, which is really amazing. So we have a tight uh, partnership with VMware. We're an independent organization, but we, we are tightly aligned. And, uh, you know, some of the examples of that is when we do have events, we'll have some, some pretty good keynote speakers uh, for the likes of Paul Strong, uh, Guido Appenzeller, uh, Scott Lowe those type people. So it's, it's really great that they uh, support uh, the independent user group as much as they do. It's, it's very tightly aligned. And uh, What I also like about uh, the relationship with v VMware and the speakers is not only the keynote speakers, is uh, VMware also ships out the, same, the very same people that are speaking at a show like here, like VMworld. The very technical principal architects, you know, office of the CTO. So if you really want to, if people really want to get a technical deep dive into what's going on at VMware and what's going on this year here at VMworld. You know, go to a VMUG because uh, the same guys are there and speaking. Um, so, but Brad, I talk to a lot of companies and they come to me and ask, uh, wow, you know, VMUG is a very special organization and how do we replicate something like that? And I say, well, you know, start in 1999 and completely change the face <laughs> of the technology industry. Stick around for a long time. Yeah. You know, and then something like that can develop. But what do you think is responsible for the success of VMUG? Why is it such a thing? How, why has it grown like it has? And you know, what, what makes VMUG VMUG? Well, we joke about it, but a lot of it is the software. And back when ESX came on board, obviously it did revolutionize what was going on in the industry. But I think beyond that, it's just making sure you're connected to the community and to those local volunteers and the leaders. That's where the magic is. That's where those folks are out and they're energized in their local area. And so they bring together, our local meetings are generally 30 to maybe 100 people. And then that kind of builds and, and everybody sees what's going on. They see the sharing that's going on. They see the peer-to-peer -peer networking. And those kind of things are really uh, attract more people into the group. So then it kind of feeds on itself. And we do a lot of things to try to get, encourage people to give back to that community by presenting uh, or by running a local uh, chapter, opening up a new one, those kind of things. And it really helps 
the leaders get out of their comfort zone and add some, some soft skills to their resume, if you will. It also raises their visibility in their local area and increases their network. And then they can utilize that for their benefit. And sometimes that might be, we, we have this often where a leader will go off and become an employee of VMware or a partner, or they will utilize that platform and say, how can I attract the best talent for my company to assemble a good team here? So uh, for me, it's all about the community and all about how do we, on a local level, make sure those connections are happening. Because when they happen at a local level, naturally it's going to bubble up into larger things like a user con and participation here at VMworld. So, so who are the members? I mean, we talked about 120,000 uh, various touch points with VMware. But for again, for people who are watching, say, you know, is this something in which I can participate? Is something I want to be involved in? Does your company have to be a VMware client or, or use their services? I mean, you know, what's that membership comprised of? So our membership, we want to include everybody in the community. So obviously that's end users. That's people that are using the product. And it doesn't matter if they're just using Fusion all the way up to full SDDC, full suite of products. It doesn't matter anywhere in between. The other part of that, and this is key, is um, the partners. So the partners play a big role in this as well, because it's all an ecosystem. You think about that community, it's a big ecosystem. And then, of course, VMware. VMware employees are part of the community, and they can be part of VMUG as well. So any of those three categories, you can be a member. All three categories are free. And so we do encourage everybody to go sign up and, and get plugged in and learn about how you can, uh, again, feed that community and be a part of it and get what you need out of it. And it's like anything in the world. The more you put in, the more you're going to get out. And I, I do love the community spirit and how everybody does help each other. You really become better at your job when you're part of the community, and I've seen it happen over and over again. Your, people's careers just you know, take a, a right turn for the, for, the, for the better often when they get involved in the community. Um, but it's important to keep this community grounded, right? And so how, how are you working? It's a, it's a very, you have a central organization, but then each VMUG is independent too. So what's the balance um, to, keep, to keep an individual uh, city VMUG uh, centered and, and technical and, and make that connectivity? And I'm kind of asking, because I do talk to other vendors and they have trouble with, well, either Either you know the, the, the central headquarters says well, you have to talk about this, or uh, a channel partner. You know the salespeople get a little excited. Right? Do you have to go out and tell people to calm down sometimes? Sure, that that does happen from time to time, uh, and I, I, it is a you've got to strike that balance between letting the user group naturally do what it needs to do and be hands off and, and just let it let it be what it is. Now, there's times that we get involved for a couple of reasons. One might be that local leader reaches out to us. Hey, I might need help with logistics on, you know, whatever it is. And this is just back office stuff that we can help out with. Uh, or sometimes it might be a situation where, uh, you know, we hear a lot of feedback that the pitches I'm getting are too salesy. They, our members are technical. They're engineers. They're system admins. They want technical, technical content. So in that scenario, we then go and talk to the vendor and say, hey, here's a better way where you can be uh, engaged the community better. And so we do have programs that, uh, that they can go and, and look at and, and learn how, okay, this is what our leaders and our members want to hear. And we've actually got some YouTube videos out there that just speaks directly to partners on how they can be uh, a better a community member when it comes to presenting to the local VMUGs. Thank you very much. That training is needed across the board. And everybody could use a refresher, right? That's right. Too much marketing, too heavy-handed in that kind of context. Uh, people walk out, you know, and then they, they will walk out. Everybody's wasting your, everybody's time. That's uh, right. Uh, I'm going to a, uh, a breakfast, actually, this week. Um, and we're going to talk about a uh, little feedback on community and user, you know, and VMUG organization. Uh, I think part of the conversation will be around the VMUG user cons, which I love, and I've, I've uh, seen you, we've seen each other at a couple of them. Absolutely. I've keynoted a few. Yes. User cons, user all day conferences, multi track. It, frankly, like the same, some of the same speakers here at VMworld, they're, sure. they're super deep. I really love them. It's an innovation in a user group. Um, how, what do you see as the, as the future of user cons, and how do you keep them user centered? Because, uh, you know, it, they're we also, uh, VMware also has the V-Forms, slightly different beast. Right. So how do you keep user VMUG uh, user groups? Yeah, that's a great question. And that uh, is, is something that the board spends a lot of time on and trying to understand and, and see how we can evolve our user cons. 
Uh, we, uh, at the center, it always has to be the end users. We do want that technical content. And so we, as I mentioned, we work with uh, partners on that. But we also have a different program that we work with our members to really encourage them to present and encourage them to be that person that's going to stand up and talk about whatever project is that they're doing. I mean, that right there is user group gold, if you will. So we really try to encourage that. And we have different programs uh, that do that. You're familiar probably with the VMUG Advantage. And part of that, you get a uh, license key for Home Lab. So we give a lot of those away at user cons. And part of the stipulation is, uh, you know, if you win this, you've got to go and build that Home Lab and then come back and talk to us about what you did and how you ran it. And it doesn't matter if it's vSphere or vSAN or NSX and whatever. Just come back and, and talk to the community and, and share what you have. Do you have an example that you can point to of, um, you know, anecdotally within, within your uh, sphere of a, maybe a small conversation or one of these experiments that turned into something much broader, much bigger, and much more helpful for the whole community? Or just something you like to point to as being useful as an example of just how this community can encourage growth, whether it's professional within one person or within a company? Sure, I think that the best example is really when, when Vima got started, and uh, it, it, it's a long, long story on how it got there, but if you just back up, say, five or six years, that's when the, we really started exploding in membership, and it, it was just allowing the folks to just kind of let it happen and, and be there enough to kind of guide it where it needs to go, but have a really wide road, and then you can kind of collect that up and say, all right, now we're in a situation where we can do things like uh, larger user con and, and it has more formalness around it, but let the user groups and the local groups, you know, really be grassroots uh, people that are standing up and, and talking about what they're doing. Uh, some of the things that we're doing now that seem to be uh, more successful is uh, panels. You know, have a panel, have a group of people up there, sprinkle in a little VMware, sprinkle in a little partner, and then a few people that are actually doing it. Boy, our members really, really love that. Uh, another thing we're thinking about is. A lot of our conferences, it might be a 45-minute session or a 60-minute session. You know, let's reduce that down and get more content out there and more of those, you know, snackable-type content because people are going to need to go take a deep dive on that later, and that's the purpose of a follow-up meeting and, and those kind of things. So that, those are some of the things that we're seeing that is really starting to, to resonate with yeah. our members. Over the 11 years or so I've been involved with the VMware community, and I don't want to name names, I don't want to embarrass anybody, I have seen multiple examples of somebody, they're just an admin, they're just doing their thing, they get involved with a VMUG, all of a sudden they start to speak, or they start to like blog, or they start to go to events. Pretty soon they're, um, you know, pretty soon they're invited to events, pretty soon I've snuck some people, the people I snuck in here in 2006 or seven, uh, just with free passes are now principal architects, they're speaking, uh, all of a sudden they switch roles and they're working for a vendor and uh, crazy amazing things happen when you get involved in VMUG. Uh, very good things. Absolutely, and, that, and that's something we do see a lot of. I'm glad you brought that up, John, of uh, people just taking it, taking VMUG and that really accelerates their success. And that, that's something that we really, you know, we like seeing that. It does propose a problem of, of we've got a, now a local leader that we need to backfill that position, but you know <laughs> what? It's a good That's, problem to have. That is, that is a good problem to have. Uh, another thing that we do is not all technical is, and you've been a part of this, John, is we call it a, a career corner. We've done some of these at our user cons and getting people one-on-one uh, -on -one time with some industry experts like John and say, you know, this is their situation at their particular career. How can they, you know, increase to the next level. We even do things like um, have a photographer there and get your LinkedIn photo. They'll email you a nice headshot and everything. And, and we're like, you know, we're making LinkedIn prettier one picture at a time. <laughs> this, <laughs> you're soup to nuts. You're taking care of all of it. Right? Soup to nuts because, you know. Uh, you know, to be successful, it's more than just the technical side of things. Uh, and our members do a good job of telling us what, hey, this is what we want. This is what we want from partners. This is what we want from right. vendors. And then we try to uh, return that favor and say, okay, this is what you need to know about that's coming down the, down the road. It's not up to VMUG to tell you what software to deploy or this and that. Just be aware of it and have the answer, and then you can make that decision for your company, for your company's best interest. Well, it's all about building community, and you're certainly doing a great job of that. Uh, continued success. Good well, job with that. Thank you very Thanks, much. Brad. Thanks, Back with more coverage here from VMworld in Las Vegas in just a bit here on theCUBE.